like to be uh, what's going on guys welcome welcome to my channel introverted fitness and uh yeah i wanted to answer some quick questions first of all welcome welcome to my channel uh, it's good to be here i guess um so i just wanted to answer some questions that i I guess I wrote for me to answer. Um, and yeah, uh, my name is Joey. I am from California. Uh, fitness has always been a part of my life. I wasn't always this lean. I'm like, I li as I like to say it, I'm a fat dude in a skinny body. I'm about 5'10 currently, 157 pounds, so pretty skinny. I do have, I'm at a 10% body fat. You guys can see my my veins a little bit showing. Um, so yeah, um, currently I've lost about 60 pounds in the last two years. So I was about 216 pounds prior and during the pandemic as an undergrad um, when I was at Cal State Long Beach. So I'm a Cal State Long Beach grad. So during my years of school years and stuff, um, I did put on a lot of weight and I gained weight relatively easily, easily. And, um, yeah, so that my genetics, man, I, I gained weight really fast. So I, I say to say that I'm an endomorph, ectomorph or whatever you want to call it. I put on fat really easy. So yeah, I do have to keep my, my, my calories in check, my nutrition in check. And that's something that I just base my life on now. You know, I'm a big on nutrition and stuff so yeah and i'm i'm very big on discipline so a, a lot of these things do help with you know bodybuilding and stuff so if you're new to bodybuilding um discipline is the main driver to all of this and to whatever you want to do in life so definitely discipline that's one thing i do advocate and uh yeah so uh some of the questions that i've gotten um, and you guys can check me out on uh, on Instagram at Joey Life Coachings. You guys can see some of my before and after pictures, um, as well as you know some of the things that I do in my day to day because I do post a lot with my workouts, how I eat, when I eat, and stuff like that. Or you know I might even just post a lot of these pictures on this video as I edit it as I go on. So uh, yeah, let me fix my lighting in here. Maybe you guys can see. Maybe you guys can see a little better. I don't know, that's a little too bright. Uh, right there should be good. Well, anyways, um, yeah, so it's a lot, it's a little bright. <laughs> Fix this really fast. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the questions, one of the main questions that I always get is uh, how do I stay motivated in the gym? And for me, I don't know if it's because I'm an introvert or whatnot. Um, I'm always keeping to myself a lot, so um, uh, a lot of the social influences that are that might be in your day-to-day -day life as an extrovert, or if you're a people person, if you're hanging around the wrong crowds, they will drag you in to, you know, their ways of living, their modes, whatever, whatever they're into. You know, where we are a product of our environment to an extent. So I will say that. Um, so I think for me, I like to keep to myself a lot and kind of analyze things. You know, from I guess a, a I guess you can say a far point of view, I guess. And that way, I'm always planning. So, for example, if I know I'm gonna go to a gathering or something where there's gonna be a lot of food, I might plan ahead and um, uh, not eat until I get to the gathering, so that I can have my calories there and not eat before. And then possibly eating twice or eating an extra on an extra occasion, you know, going and then having to, you know, eat more than what I need to. And then I start gaining weight. So little things like that. So discipline, knowing yourself, that's another thing, a big proponent of it. And I don't know if this is another personality thing, being an introvert. I know myself pretty well. I'm, I'm always, I understand what my flaws are or my strengths are. So I kind of uh, work around those and, um, yeah just use those to my advantage and um 
so yeah uh, another thing I, i'm pretty big on accountability so it all goes back to your social circle and stuff so um so definitely set goals for yourself so one thing you know the 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 staying motivated for me is um like for me i wanted the six pack abs you know that for me it was more than enough motivation i know it was from when i first started at 216 pounds i didn't see no abs i had a belly um so yeah was it hard to stay motivated initially it was but i did chuck my goals down into smaller goals so if my goals was to to drop down to one so 150, 155 was the lowest that I got. I'm at 157, so about two pounds over, and I've been at this weight for about two months now. Um, I am on a current. I am currently bulking, very slowly, um, and I do want to bulk up, but very slow. So like 15 pounds, but it is now September the 18th, and I want to gain 15 pounds, so about to about 170 pounds. But it's if you break that down, it is uh, about about a kilo a month. So. A kilo a month as a bulk uh yeah i'm you know you're safe to say that it'll be relatively clean and especially if i'm gonna be working out lifting weights so in the meantime or during so i can be rest assured that i the most at least some of it will be muscle hopefully um but uh yeah it's a lot of it is a day-to-day -day thing you know you gotta take it one day at a time that's really goes in hand with the breaking your goal down so let's say my goal, I lost 60 pounds. So did I Did I go from day one saying, hey, you know, my goal is to be uh, at 155 pounds? I was, but did I, was that something realistic? It was not, you know, something like, damn, 60 pounds when, from when I first started. That is a lot. So I really had to break those goals down, you know. So I said, okay, okay, well, this, this first month I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'll just focus on 10 pounds. I was 216. I said, I'll get, in 30 days, I'll get down to 206. If I can do that it's it's you know I'm, I'm on schedule so so doing that uh when i reached 206 i said okay let me do another 10 pounds in another month you know in the next 30 days you know and i and i, and I that's kind of how i went the whole i went for about you know six months about six months when i lost those 60 pounds so it was about 10 pounds a month and uh i was a big boy i was already stocking and lifting weights and stuff um so uh i mean I was already pretty muscular. Mu muscular. I've been lifting for a long time. I'm pretty lean now, so you guys can't really see much muscles. <laughs> so I mean, I did lose some of it, um, but at the time, I didn't really care. I just wanted just to get down and just start have a clean slate. Right now, I'm at what 157, so I do want to gain weight. But I am lifting, and I am, you know, I've done this before. You know, I've been a big boy. I've been skinny. I've been, you know. Uh, so yeah guys i mean you guys gotta really gotta break it down so you know that motivation thing you gotta find people that are gonna push you that's that's the importance for me that that's that's probably the number one key factor you, you know um because you know you you have willpower when you start off you know you're excited everything's new uh you you, you want you you're excited about making changes you say you you just bought some weights or we started at a gym and you're excited you know so you're motivated but what happens you know after two three days that first first week two weeks and eh, your your willpower you're not as you're not as enthusiastic as you as you once were and that's with everything so understanding that you know understanding that is you know you got to know you got to find that extra fuel that other source because to, to keep you going you know so i know that small goals you know small goals that you can accomplish because those small goals they're not only not only are they easy but when you do accomplish them because they are easy or easier they will give you a sense of um of confidence a sense of 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 you know that i can do it i will do it i'm i am able to do this you know so you really have to um focus on 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 your mental on your mental aspect because once your mental aspect is against you and is, is going against you it's really it, it kills your drive it kills your mood and, and if you don't have those things you are not gonna wake up and and have that energy to go out there at least not train the way you should or, or eat the way you should or sleep the way you should or do the things you need to do to stay doing you know the the behaviors the engaging in the behaviors that will bring you the result that you want um so it's really it's really doing something let's say 
uh, like, and here's another thing. It only gets easier. So that first month when I lost 10 pounds, um, I said, okay, I have a little formula here. I figured it out. I understand how much I eat a day, how much calories I eat to, to gain weight, to maintain weight, and to cut weight. Now, I didn't want to cut weight too harshly because that I really had to think about it. Could, is this something that I could sustain over a long period of time? Because realistically speaking, if you can't sustain something, you're going to hate it. And if you hate it, your your mental aspect is out of the game. Your willpower goes down. So I'm like, yeah, this is, if I was losing a little bit more and it was difficult, those 10 pounds were too difficult, well, I'm like, man, I really struggled. I dra- it was a drag just to lose the weight. Um, maybe I'm, I don't, I don't think I'll be, I don't think I'm, I'm enjoying this. So you, and be sure that whatever you apply or whatever goal you have is that, yeah, it's challenging, but it's something that you could say, okay, I I could, I could sustain this for a long time. You know, it's, they're just, they're changes, but they're minor changes. They they don't, they don't take me completely out of, uh, what I'm currently doing or, or I'm not, I'm not giving up my life, so to speak to engage in this diet plan or whatever it is or, or, or workout plan or, or goal that I want to achieve. You're not, you're not doing a whole three, a whole 180. Um, change, you know, takes time. You know, it, it's the behaviors, it's the patterns, it's the, um, it's the, yeah, it's like the, the habits. So it's the habits. So what I'm trying to say is, um, when I got through that first month, I said, oh, I lost 10, 10 months. So whatever I did this month will work. Let me do this again for another month because I, you obviously, I obviously had the formula. It was just applying it for a second month and then the third month, and then that that it became so easy. Like I had gotten so used to this new habit, where it was no longer, it was no longer like a change for me. It was just oh okay, I've gotten used to doing this. That the result will just come on, will just come by itself with time, you know. That that's that's the it, that's the the key right. That's the key to change. You know, uh, it's not necessarily that it will happen overnight, but it's the consistency that will bring you the result because you, you build on that. You know, I lost ten pounds. I didn't lose the fifty all at once, but I know that what I did that month worked. I did it for another month because I have that formula. Until six months, I reached my sixty pound goal, and that's with everything. You know, and this is the reason why I started this channel. With introverted fitness and on YouTube because I feel like I bring another aspect to the game and that is you know I have a I have a background in psychology I'm a psychology major I graduated from the University of Cal, uh, Cal State Long Beach California um, and I was always I've always been big on discipline anyway so that's probably what my passion for psychology and and having this uh, fitness this passion for fitness and just bringing both worlds together and maybe I can help others, help you um, kind of uh, take what I'm telling you or take what I'm saying um, to heart or not to heart. But, you know, uh, you, maybe you can uh, gain some knowledge or something or some motivation from my videos for you to make the changes that you want to make. You know, um, and that goes with everything, you know. Uh, I um, So, you know, my, my intended audience for for this channel and for the reason behind this video is 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 either for the average you know the average uh joe i guess you can say who is currently thinking about uh, working out or getting motivated and they feel lost they feel like how do i start or or what kind of workouts do i do or or you know uh someone who's like me an average joe you know we're all we're all here to help each other so um yeah, this is who this channel's for. The average person, you know. I know, I know how it is. If you're, especially if you're a, a beginner, stepping into stepping into a gym, and then you see all these advanced bodybuilders, and they've got all these muscles, and it can be quite intimidating. I understand it, but I am here to say that, you know, not to worry. You know, those advanced bodybuilders, they were, they were once uh, beginners themselves, and um, a lot of it is uh, self-imposed. Most of the time, they don't, people don't even care. You know they um uh they don't really care and if if you ask them for advice they're more than they're more than happy to help and you know because it it kind of uh it it feels good when 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 you're because there's there's no one way to get muscular or put on muscles or get in shape everybody has their own theories and stuff 
So when you ask somebody, they, they feel validated in a way like, oh, okay, you, you, I'm going to help you. You know, a lot of a lot of these gym heads, they they like it when you ask them. So don't don't take it as you know, oh man, I don't belong here. I'm too skinny or I'm too weak compared to these guys. It's nothing like that. So that's one thing I will say because I know that's one of the biggest fears for a lot of people is to step into a gym, especially as a newbie. So uh, yeah, that's definitely yeah. So. My life journey um, that led me into the world of fitness that I'm currently uh, into right now. Um, it's just a discipline, um, just leading a healthy lifestyle. I value it. I value my mental health and uh, physics as well as physical. So, um, I, um, so yeah, that's really the reason behind it. I've always been like a health freak. I'm always eating healthy. I'm always trying to uh, eat natural foods or eat balanced and vegetables and vitamins. I, I'm, I'm big on that, you know, I'm big on uh, living long lives and stuff. So anybody who is uh, into wellness and self-development and stuff like that, I'm your guy. So you're welcome to tag along. You know, I would enjoy it if uh, you guys subscribe or to my channel or like my videos and stuff. That would be great. Um... Yeah, let's see what else I got here. Um, hmm. Mm, yeah, well, I think that, that sums it up for this video. I wanted to keep it. I guess I'll keep it kind of short. I will say, if you guys do have any questions, uh, anything you guys would like to know about me or any kind of fitness-related questions or any kind of motivation that you seek um be sure to ask leave it in the comment section this was just a quick introductory introductory and uh yeah um uh, anyways um yeah if you like the content um be sure to leave a like comment share subscribe and i'm out until next time guys and you have a good day